Hey everybody, Isaiah here at Sofo Survival and I've got Cooper, Piper. Cooper and Piper here as my helpers. We're gonna do some freeze drying. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can do a mixed batch, okay? Uh, some people think that you cannot mix foods. Um, some people, I mean, you, you can. You can do it in a lot of different ways. This one, we're gonna do bananas and we're gonna do some tomatoes and we've actually got some ice cream sandwiches that we're gonna throw in here too. You can mix all kinds of stuff. I don't necessarily recommend that you mix sweet stuff and like savory type stuff, something that has like garlic and onions and then fruit, because you might get a little bit of crossover on those flavors, but something that's similar like this, these tomatoes, I mean, we're just gonna eat these as snacks, so we're not too worried about the crossover uh, taste, but, and they're pretty mild in flavor, it's not garlicky or anything, so. Um, let's get to it, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, so here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the tomatoes aside for now. We're gonna start with our bananas. Piper's gonna be my helper. She's gonna peel the bananas. I'm gonna cut. Cooper's gonna put them on the trays, okay? We're gonna use our handy dandy tray grids. These things are amazing. They kind of replace the silicone mats. They also create a little bit of extra airflow so you, in, or you decrease your drying time slightly with these things. And what's kind of cool at the end, we'll see, and I'll show you later in the video, after the food's all freeze dried, you can grab these things out of the trays with all your food on it and then use it to pour it straight into your into your Mylar bag. So it's, it's super awesome. Um, we'll go through that again here in just a little bit. But for now, let's get uh, let's get prepping this food. What do you say, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweet. the tomato portion, and we're just gonna do these in slices, and do, you get those uh, tray grids ready. We're gonna do these as like tomato snacks. Basically we're doing like, they're gonna be kind of like chips when they're done. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna do them in slices like that. Coop, you're gonna lay them out with this uh, facing up, and then we're gonna put some seasonings on them too. So, we've got some uh, garlic, salt, and pepper, basically. A healthy kind of chips. Oh yeah. Let's see how these turn out. It seems like the way to live. Said I should be a big shot. Okay. We'll do pepper first. Just do a little bit on there. These are gonna be so good. Test what this is going to taste like? Yeah. Let's do it. We better quality control and make sure it's going to be good, right? Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. You liked it? Mm -hmm. Those are going to be super good freeze dried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, and now this section, we're going to do some ice cream sandwiches. Okay, so leave them all in here and only take out one at a time. And then Pipe, you are gonna open it. Let's see, they're kind of hard to open. But if you can open it like this, peel it open and then give it to me so that I can chop it, okay? okay. 
and then just throw the wrappers over here for now. Okay, like that, go for it. And then Coop, you're gonna arrange them on here, and I'm gonna go in thirds like this, okay? You can probably just do them face up like that. Sound good? Actually, do you want them touching? If you want, we could actually, no, not quite touching. Why don't you just throw them on there as is? We'll do it like that. Just throw the whole sandwich on there. That'll make it easy. Okay, sweet, yeah, let's do that. These, uh, with these last ones, this was funny. This this one didn't actually have a top on it, so we <laughs> saved that one for the end. And what's really important about this, guys, probably the most important step of this whole thing, taste testing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. My taste cold. Yeah. How is it? Mm. Awesome. Good. Pass the test? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Mm. All right, now, what's really important with these ice cream sandwiches, we we'll to keep them nice and cold. So we're putting them into this machine who, that I've already been letting sit for a little while. It's down at 22 degrees, so they're not gonna sit in there and just melt. Put, in, put them in there, keep them nice and cold, do it very quickly so that it doesn't start to ooze, and then boom. We are on our way, guys. I already hit continue, so we are in the freezing cycle. It will just continue to freeze and freeze and freeze until all of this food is down to about negative 20 degrees, and then it'll kick it into the next cycle of the batch, which is vacuum freezing and then the drying. So we're on our way. We'll see how this turns out. Good job, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we're done. Um, <laughs> right now, it's showing 40 hours of dry time. That's not quite true. It was honestly only about 28 hours of dry time, but I've kept adding extra time because I've been busy here at work and I've had all kinds of stuff going on. So you can just continue to add drying time if you want to, or if, if you're not able to package it up right when it's done. But we're we're finished, so I'm gonna hit cancel and then open up our drain valve over there. Is because the air like sucks back into the machine. You'll see this seal will slowly um, break there so that we can open our door. Before I do anything with the screen, whether I decide I'm gonna defrost it or not defrost it, I always like to check my food just in case I do need to add extra drying time. Okay, right now everything looks amazing. There, it's all nice and warm because it was just on the drying phase. And what I like to do is I'll kind of spot check all of my trays. So you take it and what you want to see is that nice, crisp, clean break. Okay, so I'll just kind of take a couple of them randomly here and there and it's awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. I like to check each tray just to make sure we don't randomly get a, a moist spot, but those look good. Same with this tray. Oh, I love bananas. They're so good. We probably need to do a taste test. Yep. Delicious. There's our tomatoes. I'm actually really excited about these. It's amazing how lightweight they are. There's no moisture left in them. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. This is gonna be my taste tester. <laughs> so good. It's crazy. It just like melts in your mouth. All of the flavor is still there. All the flavor and nutrition. Oh, it's so good. Ah. I could eat that whole tray. That's awesome. Okay, there is our ice cream sandwiches. I actually took one out earlier. I cheated. I tested it. It was one that was kind of all messed up, so I wanted to take that one, but as far as our taste test goes here, an official, um, just for the video, you wanna see it crack like that. Even the ice cream, I mean, it's just supposed to be all nice and brittle and crumbly, and that's exactly what you wanna see. Well, 
Taste test wise, it's amazing. I can't tell whether it's because I just ate a piece of banana or because it was in here with the bananas um, that I'm detecting a tiny bit of a banana flavor. But um, you, you may, especially if you have something like this, you may end up getting a little bit of flavor absorption. But what's awesome is that I don't taste any garlic or any tomato flavor. I only, if anything, maybe taste a tiny bit of banana, you know, trace banana flavor. So um, keep that in mind when you, you know, when you mix and match foods, sometimes depending on what it is, you may get a little carryover. Typically you can kind of mix and match if they're similar. And if they are similar type stuff, like I don't mind that this has a tiny bit of a banana flavor too, because that's actually really good. Um, but you know, just play with it. Uh, if you're doing like uh, savory foods, all that stuff is probably not, you're not gonna get any, you know, uh, carryover. But like I said earlier in the video, if you're doing uh, onions and minced garlic and bananas or strawberries, you might get a little bit of that garlicky flavor that carries over to the strawberries. So um, that's about it. Let's take these out, let's package them up. What's really fun about these tray grids is it makes it so dang easy to package K. So watch this, I'll just pick up this whole grid, put it in here, pour it in and it's done. Nothing sticks. These tray grids are flexible. I can aim and get them in my bag. And then you just pick up a couple of the odds and ends ones at the end. But that's it, I got a whole tray worth in this bag and there's still a little bit of room. And it's as easy as that. I'll probably do like one bag per tray. If you have a smaller Mylar bag, um, say it's, you know, one of the shorter ones, these are flexible so I can take that and I could bend it and funnel them into my bag like so and it still makes it super easy. And then the grids, holy cow, I'm dropping these all over. The grids are uh, dishwasher safe too so I, I throw mine on the top rack in my dishwasher and then clean them up for the next time. Kind of divide these into these two bags. Yeah, that would be better. Pack them there, in there. Okay. So that's about all there is to it, guys. Super simple. Um, these ones. Oh, um, yeah, we'll throw them in a, we'll throw them in a Mylar bag. Honestly, they won't sit in the storage for too long because I'll probably just eat them as snacks. Probably in the next couple of days. And ice cream sandwiches. Oxygen absorbers. These are the 300 cc um, Freshus 
oxygen absorbers. They're good for, one of these is good for up to a gallon volume. Now, since oxygen absorbers are fairly cheap and I kind of like to buy myself a little bit of extra insurance, I kind of go overboard. I add two to a one gallon bag. For the smaller bags, I don't. I just do one of them. So I'll just toss two in each of these. Side. In fact, these you can just take and I'll try to push what air I can out of there. I'll seal that back up so those will be okay for next time. And then I'll go back and just kind of shake my bag down like that. I'll flatten out that opening. I like to turn it to about a seven or so. see these suck down just a little bit they don't necessarily need to suck down like they're vacuum packed but typically you'll see them just shrink just a tiny bit if they don't that doesn't necessarily mean your oxygen absorbers are bad it just means you probably had a little bit more air in there than normal so I kind of try to push push what air I can out but it's not essential you don't need to get too worried about it okay and our ice cream sandwiches. Nice and flat. Okay guys, that's it. I'll go on and I'll, uh, I'll label them and write the date and everything, but it's as simple as that. That's our mixed batch. I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna freeze dry anything in here for a little while, so I'll hit the no defrost um, button. I can turn the machine off and it'll just sit there and all the ice in there will melt and it'll drain out this drain tube. So make sure your drain valve is open. You've got a bucket underneath it and you're set. <coughs> um, that's it. I'm gonna put links in the bottom in the description for the tray grids for the tray stackers, any of the accessories and stuff that I used in this video. Also machines, we have them available. Our retail store is in Spanish Fork, Utah. And we, you know, of course sell locally, but we can ship as well. So if you ever are wondering, we typically would try really hard to keep these in stock and the turnaround is very, very quick. So normally we can ship same or next day. So anyway, give us a shout if you want us to give you a, a shipping quote. Thanks for watching. If you, uh, if you like the video, we appreciate you sharing. Um, hopefully we can get more and more people to subscribe so that we can get this information out there. We really like to teach. The word Sophos means wisdom. And so with, with Sophos Survival, part of the idea is that we were trying to help prepare people physically and give people the, uh, the gear and the, the supplies and stuff that they need to be prepared for the future. But we also like to do the training and the knowledge. That's, what, that's where the SOFO side of it comes together. So when you marry those two together, it creates true preparedness. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you on the next video.